It's only one shot and it can be stored in a normal refrigerator, but Johnson & Johnson released multiple findings about its vaccine's efficacy. 66% overall, 72% in the U.S., 85% against severe disease, and 100% against hospitalization and death. Huh? Let's verify. We have three experts weighing in. UW epidemiologist Janet Baseman and two NBC News medical correspondents, UW pulmonologist Dr. Vin Gupta and NYU rheumatologist Dr. Natalie Azar. On the Today Show, Dr. Azar said the most important number of those four is the last one. It was 100% effective in preventing hospitalization and death. Okay. So from a public health perspective, that is the most important thing. You want to obviously prevent hospitalization and prevent people from dying. As Dr. Dr. Gupta said on the Today Show, a one-shot vaccine is also a huge weapon against pandemic fatigue. Uh, nearly every state has indoor dining open. More people are going back into, this, uh, into the school setting. This is a really, really dangerous time here, so that's why we need to increase this ramp, the ramp up. What kind of impact does a one-shot vaccine have? It's a game changer, Steve. The one-dose vaccine that will ease transportation and storage issues and need for reminders and people coming back to potentially a distant place from where they live to get a second dose. Those are huge. Assuming the FDA validates the company's findings, we can verify. Yes, when you take into consideration how easy it is to store and that it doesn't demand a booster shot, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is just as good and in some ways better than Pfizer's or Moderna's.